Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 30th, May 1st, and 2nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this is a general reading, and you know when I am reading for the weekends, I'm using, of course, my two Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, and it's best when I don't even try to understand it. So, yeah, it does get delivered, and I've had many of you tell me that. Couple of things going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your well wishes, your positivity, your prayers, whatever this is that you have been sending, because it has been working and it feels wonderful. So thank you so much. Um, I, you know, please continue. I do want to let you know that I, there could be some interruptions. I'm not, you know, quite sure how this is going to work, but there could be some interruptions in the readings. I'm so so sorry. I will be going out of town, most likely. Probably. So just letting you know that. Um, nothing, you know, not quite sure of my dates yet, but just wanted to let you know. So um, as it gets closer, I'll let you know that too. I do not like to do the readings too far in advance because that, you know, I, I just doesn't feel as, um, I don't know, as organic. So I don't know what I'll be doing with that, but it'll all work. So let's start with the readings and again thank you all so much please remember to like share subscribe over there that's right it does help thank you hello my Sagittariuses how are you my darlings yeah you've had you've had an up and down you I kind of feel like you've been um, you've had some ups and downs gone through the battlefield would that be right um, but you are victorious so Let's see what this weekend has for you, my Sagittarius. What are the energies like? Here we go. Remember, anything reversed has stronger energy. And here's one of the cards that are reversed. And here we go. Okay. First card is Renewal. Renewal. I love this. I do love Archangel Jeremiah. Wonderful. Um, we have that two crossroads decision. Zero has that um, universal or God energy. So there is a divine direction coming for you or you're being pushed into a divine direction. I'm going to kind of say, you know, if it's something, I'm, you know, again, we have free choice. We have freedom of will. We have a free will. But if you're, if you're, you know, I'm kind of feeling like you're being guided or led somewhere and you're being resistant to it, which I totally get that. It's kind of like, I'd rather go that way. And it's like, no, 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 you need to go this way. And many times you know it in your spirit and in your soul that you need to do this. But it's kind of like, but it's, again, it's like, I want to go this way. And this is going to be kind of touchy times for you with this. Okay, if this is something that you're strongly feeling, but yet you're resisting, I'm kind of, I mean, just, just go with that flow. Because renewal means things are going to start blossoming again. Renewal means that, you know, that this is a time for things to start growing again. Okay, now you may not necessarily understand it, but reach out to your higher power again, guardian angel, spirit guide, your voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you, and have some meditation, have some time in prayer, have some time in whatever it is that you collect, you know, that you have that strong, you know, connection, that strong cord, okay? Because I feel that this is like, I want to go that way, and kind of you're being more by the universe directed that way. Okay, I have fought many times my direction, my path, and th this, I guess this is what it is. It's like your path is opening up for you, and you're kind of like, yeah, but maybe later, maybe when I'm older. Well, you know what, it's, it's kind of a, nope, your path is opening up for you. Anyway, Archangel Jeremiah, 
review and evaluate, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. Your path is, again, it, your path is opening up. You may not necessarily want to follow it. Think of it, though, as, you know, if it's something that's like, you know, you, I kind of feel like you got your heels in the sand and, and you're like, and somebody's like, and you're like, no, I'm not going to go. Um, maybe because it feels very um, scary. Maybe it feels very lonely. Maybe it feels very, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I've been there, done that. It's just, it's, um, I will tell you on my own, it works better on the times that I did not fight it. Okay? Okay. So it seems like there could be a path. You're like your path. You're going to be more aware of it even more so. More aware of it even more so. More aware of it this weekend. Here we go. Next card. The Ten of Air. Tens. Transitional number. We have a one. New beginning. We have a zero again. And that's the, you know, that universal God energy. So it's kind of, this is 20. So this could be a 10, 10, 10. Could be. Could be a 20, 10, 2, 0, 1, 0. Air energy is our Aquarius, it's our Libra, it's our Gemini energy, it is our thought processes, it's our plans, it's making plans, it's hearing news. This, you know, with the renewal and with the ten of air is that difficult times are leaving, difficult times are ending, things are going to be, you know, gates are opening up. Again, I get this thing with the path. Your path is... Be, your, your path is clearing up. And it could also be that you've been down this path before, but it didn't, or at least you thought you were going down this path, and it didn't quite turn out as it ex you expected. Well, this path, whatever this energy is for this weekend, it does have a better outcome for you. Okay? So, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change, and expect things to get better now. Better now. Recovering from an addiction. So you've got a lot of movement with both of these cards. Here we go. Your next card, the Page of Fire. Now, Page's underlying energy is Earth energy. A lot of times the Page has to do with your job, your money, or how you create your money. Or it could be even with your home because of the Earth energy. But we have Fire energy. Fire energy is your energy. It is also Aries and Leo it is very passionate, it's burning, it's very determined. Maybe this is about a new job, maybe this is about a career that you want that you were thinking of going into. Maybe it was a career that you had actually had your education for and you then um you know that you were at, you know that you went to school, you were trained or what however that was and then you wound up doing something totally different because the job market fell flat. Or, you know, the, they just didn't hire you at that time. There's this like, you know, th this is kind of like, again, it's getting you back on the right path. It's getting you on your path. And this has that work energy to it. So it could be that this new job, that is something that is not necessarily different than what you've prepared for or you're experienced in. It's just that it was blocked and now it feels like the block is, is lifted. Okay? So... Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So, yeah. And, and again, you might think, well, why? You know, because I know of people who have tried for something. They, you know, this is like, this is where I'm going, my path. And it just never opened up. And they're like, well, why do I even bother? And then somebody might say, hey, you know, that thing that you wanted to do, it's opening up. And they're like, well, why do I bother? Well, no. This says why you're bothering. You have, you know, you need to go after it. You need to go after it. If it's a dream, if it's something that you've wanted, you should go after. But there is a divine energy over this, so it may be one of those things too. That's kind of like my heels are in the sand, and it's like, no, no, don't push me into this place. I don't know. It might be those things that you knew in your gut. You've always known you needed to, that you were going to be doing this. And you decided, well, no, I don't want to do it. Okay, I know. We're, we're rambling now. Here we are. Last card. The Six of Michael. This is lovely. So Michael is air energy. Six is the life you make. Six is the number of man. So it's what you can actually make of your life. 
This is leaving the storm, getting into the clear, light at the end of the tunnel. Things, but you know, the thing is, my Sagittarius, is how resistant are you going to be? Okay, but it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So there, you know, this could have a lot of fear based because it could be one of those things I've really wanted it and it just was always out of my reach or when I would reach for it, it would be like that, that, you know, like, oops, we pulled it away. But this weekend, it looks like it's going to be back in your reach again. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, my Sagittariuses. Remember, if you don't go for it, again, I know I say this a lot, if you don't go for it, the answer will be a no. If you do, it could still be a no, but it could be that yes. And the way these cards are, so we have the 20, we have the 10, we have the 6. These are st extremely motion forward cards and, you know, moving into a more of a positive period. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's see what crystal or energy would be helpful for my Sagittariuses. Here we are. It is reversed. Earth. So stay centered. Stay grounded. Okay? Earth is all about abundance, fertility, harvesting, logic. So think things through a little bit. Stay grounded. Stay centered. Okay? Okay. Interesting stuff. So I don't know how resistant you'll be, but it's kind of like the universal energy is just going to push you forward anyway. Enjoy your path. Now, my Sagittariuses, remember it does help to like, share, subscribe. Thank you. As always, my Sagittariuses, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.